Guten Morgen, everyone. That's good morning in Dutch, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Amelia. JP is behind the camera and we are coming to you from Amsterdam. It's freaking amazing. We're so excited to be here. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go and explore and the city and the area on foot and maybe by boat. We do want to remind you that since we are traveling, we are going to do our best to stick to our schedule and that would be posting every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern. But that may be subject to change. To stay up to date on what's happening, please go to ameliaandjp.com and sign up for our newsletter. And also, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified on all of our upcoming videos. We do want to do a canal tour, so I think we're going to walk over and try to find one or more of them. But we're going to meander around and we'll figure it out. In the meantime, we're going to have a lot of incredible scenery to show you. It is so beautiful here. I was telling JP that the buildings across the canal have all these shutters and it reminds me of the 12 Days of Christmas calendar where you would open up each day and it had a little gift or I don't even remember behind it. That was from my childhood, so that was a long time ago. But it is just picture, picture perfect. She's also the most important person on this boat, guys. She's in charge of all the money, the drinks and the alcohol, so yeah, that beats <laughs> my job.
your left side, you learn to park your car very quickly here in, uh, in uh, Amsterdam because if it goes wrong, it goes really wrong. We just finished our first ever Amsterdam Canal Cruise. We took the Sunshine Boat from the Friendship Canal Cruise Line uh, with Captain Michelle and Sharon. They were awesome. The tour was so tranquilo. It was wonderful and absolutely lovely. It was interesting. We learned a lot like the reason that the uh, buildings are so tall and narrow is because they used to pay the taxes based on the width of the building and that you also have to pay taxes based on the amount of windows you have or you used to. That's why you see some really skinny buildings. Uh, also it was interesting to learn that some of them are intentionally tilted forward so that when they used to get shipments they would uh, hoist them up from those big hooks. They said if you didn't have the building tilted that the cargo would crash into your windows. So that's not a good thing. <laughs> so it's intentional. But there's a lot of buildings that are crooked from left to right that are an accident, I guess from all the settling here. One of the things we learned on the canal tour was this uh, coffee shop behind me, coffee shop called The Greenhouse, which apparently is a favorite of Snoop Dogg's. And we're standing across the street from that and you could totally smell pot smoke. <laughs> it's funny, it's not a big deal to us since we're from Denver and that's pretty commonplace, but we wanted to share it with all the rest of you. That sign behind me really cracks me up. We saw it on our tour. Don't pee in the streets or you'll be fined 140 euros. We need those in Cuenca. <laughs> we just had lunch at the all vegan restaurant Terra Zen Center here in Amsterdam. It was delicious. It's a fusion restaurant of Japanese and Jamaican. Our lunch was so delicious and quite filling. JP had the tonkatsu Don Burry. That was a bowl of brown rice, a salad, and crispy tempeh and some sauces. And then I had the crispy roti wrap, which was so delicious and so big. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, but JP split it with me, so we uh, left no vegan food behind. <laughs> anyway, mine had some vegan chicken and some yummy veggies, like broccoli, sweet potato, lettuce, and yellow peas and a Caribbean sauce. It was excellent. We stumbled upon this really cute vegan store. It's a little market and a bakery called Vegabond when we were out walking around today. And we were really excited to try some vegan cheeses. We've heard that the new nut-based and uh, tofu-based vegan cheeses are spectacular, so we're gonna check them out. They had all sorts of great stuff vegan, including baked goods. We got Dutch apple pie, which I'm really excited to try as well. We're not totally focused on healthy eating today, but that's okay. We don't get the opportunity to try vegan cheeses and Dutch apple pie very often. And now for the tasting. <laughs> First one we got is the plant-based gorgonzola. This is actually tofu based. And then the lady at the store told us this one was the best. It's cashew. Camembert. Thank you. It's uh, nuts, yes. Cash, obviously cashew nuts. And then we got these crackers that are quinoa based crackers at a different store because they didn't have crackers there. Well, they had gotten their shipment in, but they had not unpacked it yet. All right, JP, I'm going in. All right. This is so exciting. I don't know which one I want to try, try first. Try the gorgonzola first. Okay. That looks easier to cut. It does. Actually, I don't even want to taste it on a cracker. I want to just taste it. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, you're gonna really like this. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's really good. Mm. All right, you want to cut a piece of the camembert? Yes. Oh, wow. 
Oh my gosh. Does it taste like camembert? Mm. Wow, JP, it's delicious. Oh, I'm gonna have to try. Yes, yum. Which one are you tasting first? Oh my God. Which one is it? That's the gorgonzola. It tastes like gorgonzola. I know, it's awesome. Oh, I haven't had cheese, anything <laughs> remotely resembling cheese in three years. Well, I know. The only thing we can really get is like the soft stuff. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> it tastes like camembert. So I think we're probably going to eat nothing but cheese now for the rest of this trip. How do they do it? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Oh my God. Just cashews and whatever other ingredients that are probably not good for my heart, but we're in Amsterdam and I don't care today. It's amazing. This is truly amazing. I don't understand why we have to eat dairy when we can have this. Agreed. Unbelievable. All mm. right. Well, JP was asking what we were going to have for lunch. I have a feeling we're having this for lunch. Oh my gosh. So good. Although I do think we should probably get some delicious veggies as well. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I wish you all could taste this with me. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say goodbye now so I can eat some cheese in peace. Bye. <laughs> the vegan cheese was amazing. It's one of the things we wanted to try here. We've heard such great things yeah. about the vegan cheese in France, Belgium, and the Netherlands, and it did not disappoint. Oh, my, oh my God. It's so good. Yeah, we definitely ate a lot of really yeah. good food today. It's a good thing we walked a ton today. Yeah, and we walked over to and took the canal tour, and on the way there, we walked down this alley, and there are the beautiful tulips and like this really old World War II era bicycle with like a tulips in it. Yeah, it was And gorgeous. I was like filming this and then we didn't realize that there were the, the sex workers, I guess is what they're called yes, here. Yes. And they were banging on the windows for, to make sure I didn't film them, I guess. I didn't even see them. I know, JP, I was like, well, they've got the red lights out, but JP wasn't paying any attention because so, he was so into the tulips. And the which bicycle. I find hilarious. And the bike. And the, it was just this old, I felt like I was in Harry Potter walking down this narrow alley and with these funky looking buildings and, yeah. and all the tulips and stuff. And I didn't even notice the sex workers in the window. <laughs> but I wasn't going to film them anyway. I know you're not supposed to yeah. film them. <laughs> so, but anyway, it was funny. That, that was really funny. That, so he got a warning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. But the whole, the city is incredible. We really love the area we're staying in. Jordan, I believe it's called. Jordan. Jordan. Because as we were walking closer, like, well, the red light district is super touristy. The dam district, oh my gosh, it was, oh, it was a million super, people. super crowded. It was but, elbow to elbow over but there. No wonder because the architecture is phenomenal. It's almost mm -hmm. overwhelming. We're definitely feeling a little tired because there's just so much to take in. It, but it's breathtaking. It's amazing, and we couldn't yeah. have asked for a better day. The weather is just perfect. Yeah, in the Dam Square area, that's where all the shopping is. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of touristy stuff. We haven't walked over by where some of the museums are yet, mm -hmm. but we know the Anne Frank House is pretty close. Well, to that's this just area. it's only about three blocks from our place right yeah. here. Although we won't be able to get in, we already know that. The tickets sell out pretty far in advance. So if you guys, if anyone out there is thinking about mm -hmm. going to Amsterdam and you want to visit like the Van Gogh Museum or the Anne Frank House, you really need to book those very like far two in months, advance. Yeah. like two months in advance. The yeah. Anne Frank House is booked till mid May, late I think May. So. It's booked till late May, yeah. so we can't get in there. But yep. But we have other things that we're going to do on this trip. We're just we're not exactly. here long enough to do everything anyway. No, and with the weather being like it is, I I want to do outdoor, outdoor things. stuff. Yeah, you can we can do that in the winter. We want to go sit on one of the many many street side cafes and have a coffee or a Heineken. Yes. And many people may not know this, but Amsterdam is named after the dam that was built along the Amstel River. Yes. I didn't know that. A lot of the cities in the Netherlands are named after the dam. Yeah, I didn't know that either. We had, yeah. we had a good tour guide. We it was, did. It was an awesome, fun day. Yep. And we'll link the tour guide, the tour company that we use in the description in case you're here. You can use them. They're really good. They were. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable boat. Yeah, it was a comfortable boat and they were very entertaining and knowledgeable. Yes. They had a bar on the boat where you could buy drinks, but it was early in the day and nobody bought anything. It's got to get really rowdy down in that area at night based yeah. on the signs that we saw, like the no peeing in public sign. Yeah. I think that's it for the day. 
we're gonna take it easy, eat our Dutch apple pie that's vegan, yeah. <laughs> and then then maybe go grab a Heineken and eat more. Yeah. <laughs> but fortunately, we're going to have an opportunity to walk it all off tomorrow when we go to the tulip gardens. Yes, and I'm hopefully there. I think there's a windmill I can chase while we're there. We'll find that's out. A, that's a reference to Don Quixote. If if you're not a literature person, <laughs> Don Quixote chased the windmill. So if you see me chasing windmills tomorrow with my imaginary sword, you'll know what I'm doing. I bet you we'll see other people doing that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Please remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified on our upcoming videos and we will see you all soon. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. All the American junk food restaurants are oh, over yeah, there. Oh yeah, we were disappointed to see a McDonald's and a KFC. Yeah, although I wouldn't even. I'm going to bleep that oh. out. We saw bleep bleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't even want to plug them. <laughs>